17th, 18th, maybe the 23rd time, everything comes apart. The painter in me is absolutely mortified that I grind off fresh paint, fresh primer. Hello everyone, welcome back to Maverick Mods. Today, still tweaking the fit of the quarter panels. They're getting closer, but I can permanently mount the wheel houses, so that's what we're gonna concentrate on today. I'll walk you through all the little bits and pieces that you have to do to get everything ready to uh, plug weld in. So, here we go. You know, somewhere out there, there's an actual stand that works to install doors. I don't have one, and just using a floor jack doesn't really work. So, when I'm by myself, this is the best method I've found for actually mounting doors. Engine hoist works pretty good. All I'm doing here is just getting the doors in prior to any major adjustment on the quarter panel just to make sure that uh, if I've got a decent door gap that my door gap lines up uh, and the door and the quarter match. That's pretty much what I'm checking. So uh, uh, that's basically it. So sit back and uh, enjoy the show. It ought to be uh, comical if nothing else. One of the things I can tell right away, it's hard to see with that light, but the door is too high based on the body line on the quarter. So I'm gonna loosen the hinges up a little bit. Let's see if I can just drop it down. All of these are loose. Loose up there. Okay. So if the door is a little bit too high. Now we're a little low in the front corner, but that's where a paint stick comes in handy. Actually, it's not bad. Okay. If anything, it might be still be a little bit too high. Okay, but the body line looks better. I'm going to go ahead and tighten up the hinges, and then we can adjust them. Let's see how we did. Now that I've decided to uh, go ahead and remove that last bit of flange from the old outer wheelhouse, I can still use parts of that flange to line up the new wheelhouse. So basically, where my alignment holes are here, I can still use those right here to line up the new wheelhouse. So I'm going to do that, 
and throw a couple of self-tapping screws in, which will keep my alignment once I pull everything back off. And I can't find my magnetic tip, so we're just going to have to do this the hard way. There's one. We'll get the back side next. Then I'll hit maybe two more up here and I should have pretty good alignment. Now, this is not, I mean, not quite as bad. I basically double, let's, let's verify the alignment again. Just, and I can use the clamp here. hit two more spots up in here just to say I did okay all right now I can take it all back off because at least I've got my alignment spots now and actually, this one slipped, so I'm going to have to redo that. I think I can leave that one. Let's see. See? That's why you shouldn't trust the clamp. All right. Let's leave that in there and we'll just put another screw in. Except this time. Much better. Hey, let's see if we can figure out where these spot welds are and see just what it's going to take to get them all out of here. I spared you about the hour it took to uh, clean up the what's left of the flange of the outer wheelhouse, old outer wheelhouse. So let's mount up the new one and see how we did. need a little rubber mallet persuasion over here not a problem that's all she needed outer wheelhouse is in position ready for uh, we strip the EDC coating off we'll put epoxy primer on both sides and plug weld it in but since it's here now I'm gonna go ahead and finish up uh, lining up this trunk drop on this side
Just like the passenger side, we'll drop the driver's side out of wheelhouse in place. Should already be pre-aligned. Don't need any persuasion on this side. Okay, just like the other side, I'll put a few extra in. Wheelhouse is on. I think we're on the 8th or 9th, 17th, 18th, maybe the 23rd time. Everything comes apart, but this time, it's for a noble purpose. I'm actually going to prepare the wheelhouses for permanent installation. So first thing I got to do is take it apart, get the wheelhouses off. So wheelhouses are almost off. Uh, just a quick interlude here. The reason I'm taking these off is uh, everybody has, I'm sure, seen on other channels and, and oh, that's this uh, black coating that comes on a lot of these replacement panels. It's called an EDC coating. Um, I Electro discharge coating. I, I have no idea what it stands for. However, even the manufacturers say this is not considered a permanent coating. So you can kind of see here, all it takes is that right there, and that panel is scratched, and granted this is on the inside, but that panel is scratched and eventually rust can form because of that. Just from taking the uh, quarter on and off a few times, I've actually scuffed this edge of it. So I know some guys, you'll hear varying uh, opinions. Uh, some say just scuff it primer over the top of it. I still have the uh, sandblasting apparatus set up, so I'm just going to pull them and run them through the sandblaster real quick and give them a good epoxy coating uh, both top side and inside. The other reason I need to pull it off is I need to run a series of spot welds up along, all along the inside here. So there's going to be a lot more spot welds than there are uh, sheet metal screws, and so I need to drill some holes for the spot welds so that when it does go back on I'm basically ready to spot weld all the way around it. With the outer wheelhouses uh, primed, that's with epoxy primer, next step Let's uh, test fit them again and figure out where all of the sp spot welds need to go. There are a few uh, areas that I didn't uh, look at before. Of course, obviously around the room there. I know it seems like a lot, but I'm just kind of trying to replicate what the factory had. They did have an awful lot of small spot welds around the perimeter there. And what the heck, I'll go ahead and replicate that. Uh, I checked back behind here. Of course, this is going to go back underneath here. And my holes that I pre-drilled, pretty good shape there. Down here in this corner, I'm going to hit. I actually have two holes here that I, uh, actually I need to fill those because I don't want an open hole there. Kind of messed up on that. These look good here. 
these two down here are good. I need to put, uh, I need to do a couple of spot welds right down here against the rocker panel. So I need to drill some of those. And back here, right at this edge of the inner, actually that's still the outer rocker, there's going to be two that are going to come through here that I'll need to drill also. I'm going to have to figure out how to mark those and drill those. So let's get started on that. Next up, I need to hit all the areas where it's going to be spot welded, top and bottom, including the brand new paint on the wheelhouse. Need to hit it with the uh, grinding wheel and get all the paint off so I get uh, good adhesion. So I get good adhesion when I go in and do the plug welds. To get to this side, I'm just going to take and take a little sharpie here, make a little mark, so I know where to grind up the primer. The painter in me is absolutely mortified that I grind off fresh paint, fresh primer. It's got to be done. Now keep working on the perimeter. In addition to doing the wheelhouse itself, I also want to hit the flange area here uh, of the uh, inner structure support with the flap wheel just to make sure there's no rust there prior to putting on weld through primer. Wipe down with some acetone, can't hurt. Okay, it says self etch weld through primer. It's got chemistry, it's got zinc and stuff in it. So let's see how this works. Sure wish this didn't have a spray nozzle on it, but nothing I can do about that, so. Well, it sure would have been nice if I could have found some gray weld through primer, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. Sometimes you just take what you can find. And that's all I could find locally. Uh, well, you would think that I'm just about ready to put the wheelhouse, the wheelhouse on. Nope. And the reason for that is I still need to put this corner piece that I cut off get it back on but first I've got to clean this area up really good here get that corner piece on and get the quarter prepped so it can slide up underneath here which is going to take a little bit of thought because the factory spot welded that lip in and there is absolutely no way I can replicate that because my only access when that quarters here is right through here so I'm going to come up with plan B to secure the bottom of that quarter and keep plugging away at it. Like I said before, before I can put the wheelhouse in, I've got to finish the repair on the quarter support here. So I'm going to clean up this area right up in here, weld in the corner piece, get that uh, back in place and then hit this whole area with some uh, rust converter. So, cue the music.
Okay, so I got the corner piece welded back in, but I still need to fabricate one more piece, and that's the triangle piece that was part of the original uh, quarter support. It goes from here down to about here. So that's easy enough to fabricate there, but I also need to put a bend in it so that uh, basically this corner piece will have a flange that comes up and the quarter will slide between the rocker panel and that flange. So I'm going to pull out a piece of scrap, take some measurements, and see if I can't uh, bend up a piece of metal. Okay, so here's the basic shape. Yeah, obviously a little bit of trimming to make it fit. In fact, let me grab my scribe. There we go. Okay, I do need to do one final thing. Stand by. Before I tack this in place, one of the things I need to do is a little planning ahead. Since the bottom lip of the quarter needs to slide between the rocker and the flange on this uh, corner brace, I need to replicate the flange for the quarter itself. I just use a scrap piece. I'm just gonna slide it up underneath here. And this will help me get the angle. You see my angle is off just a little bit. So I just do a little bending. Angle there is pretty good, but I'm not quite done yet. And I'll show you why. The factory had a magic spot welder that after the quarter was installed, and after the quarter brace was installed, and after the quarter inner support was installed, and after the rocker panel was installed, somehow or another got some spot welds to hold the bottom of the quarter in place. I can't duplicate that. So my solution is going to be, I'm going to go ahead and weld this corner piece in place, get it set where I want it, and then I'm going to come in and I'm going to drill some holes, pilot holes, so I can do some sheet metal screws that after the quarter's in place, I can come in from this opening here, come in and I can actually put the sheet metal screws down through here pre-drilled to hold that quarter in place. Because there is absolutely no way I can get any form of spot welding apparatus or plug welding apparatus through this access point down to here. So, let me duplicate that and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, there's one. Good gaps here, good gaps here. I'm secured here. I'm gonna pull this back off, get the uh, EDC coating off of it, and we'll tack it in. Quarter is back on for the 37th time. I wanted to do one last test fit, check the door gaps, and I wanted to get the bottom corner here before I put the wheelhouse in. I wanted to get the bottom corner in, in that flange, and I wanted to get the screws mounted. If for no other reason, it just makes it that much easier when I have to stick my hand uh, down in there and just feel around and hope and pray. So, now that I've got that, hopefully where it needs to be, quarter's gonna come back off. I'll mount the wheelhouse and put the quarter back on for a final fit before I burn in the wheelhouse. This might be the last time the wheelhouse gets on, goes on. It might not. We'll find out. Alright, I 
do see one last adjustment I need to make. I actually got a gap down here, and that's sheet metal derived. Off it goes. Alright, let's see what that does. That is better. Alright. Now I'm going to test fit the quarter again, make sure everything's good in here. So that'll be what the 53rd time the quarter has gone on. Be right back. All right, I think this is the final time before burning in the wheelhouse. I'm happy with the way the quarter fits. Right down here, it slides under. I've got plenty of room. I've got a little bit of adjustment room if necessary. Fits just about where I need it to be. Well, it's better than that. It fits where I need it to be. Everything looks good here. Feels good. I'm going to go ahead and start burning in this wheelhouse. There you have it guys, wheelhouses are in permanently. Next up, continue working on uh, fitment on the quarters, especially with the, uh, inter uh, the tail panel and the interface with the quarters and the tail panel. And just get closer to getting the quarters locked in so that we can get those uh, installed permanently as well. Sure to appreciate you watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. It certainly would help me out. Everybody, have a great day.